So, three topics I enjoyed learning about in our class and the personal meaning I gained from each one. First off, it was the SWOT assignment, the analysis and self-reflection. By doing the SWOT assignment and talking about it in class with the others at the potluck lecture we had, showing me that others have had experiences that impacted their lives, from addiction, abuse, abandonment, and what I found out about, oh God, about myself is that out of the negative, I was always able to find a positive. And because of this, I realized what I wanted to go to college for, and it would be human services with a focus on domestic violence. My analysis journal, my self-reflection was, was a bit tough for me because it's hard for me to acknowledge my strengths, but I can point out my weaknesses much easier, of course. But now after taking this class, it has become a little bit easier because those are really hard to find, you know, you can always say, oh, what you suck at. But, you know, when you really get and think for, for me, especially, it's just like, well, God, really, what am I good at? Just, you know, because... I'm just like, woo, all over the place. I can move, but I don't know what I do in half the time. The next one would be my 64 question assessment. And this assessment was an eye-opening, an eye-opening assignment for me. Because when I took, took it at the start of the class, and then took it again at the end of the class, I could visually see how my assessment score had gone up because of taking this class. And having an assignment like this to reflect on, it was a happy ending for me. Because my scores at the beginning, they were all right, some of them were really bad. And then at the end, like, some of them went up by like 14, 17 points, and only one, like the believing in myself, that was one of my top ones at, at the beginning. And at the end of it, that was my one score that did take a big jump. But, um, I guess that's going to happen, so it's a learning experience, so that my positive out of that would be, I got to put more focus in believing in myself, and these are okay, so these would be over here on this side, and I just got to aim for the goal again. And then the scavenger hunt. I really like being able to do the assignment, because it showed me where the classes are, what we had here at OC, and what we had here at OC. I also felt it was much needed and it was good for us. And I personally do feel that new students would benefit from this assignment because I would have never known, like I barely found the art room the first day even though I was a late start. I still made it there before you. But man, it took me three rounds and a security guard to find that place. And it was just like, you know, I never knew. You know, like the, the uh, what is it, the site? Oh shit. That one building where you get the cheap soda pops? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's just like stupid stuff, but it's important that sometimes, because, you know, when you only got 50 cents in your pocket instead of a dollar, you can still get something to drink. And I know it sounds kind of corny, but that's just me. Um, and then it would give us time to interact with each other and, like, meet the TAs because they're always sitting in the back doing this, that, and the other thing, and we're up here doing our thing. And so it was a good intermix, I guess you could say. But, yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. Not better than the SWAT, though. Um, and three school-related struggles that I had in class um, that I had struggles about, and then how I dealt with them. First, it was my anxiety. Because, man, right when I was getting ready to walk out the door, it was all bad. And then somebody starts swirling, and I start sweating, and I get in the car and drive. And it was like, whoa, baby, I just got to, like, pull off the road here. So get back to my little script here. But at the beginning of the quarter, I would literally get sick as soon as I was about to walk out the door for school. And I'd have to put, pull over alongside the highway, get sick, in the parking lot, before I walked into class. And then I was still like, <clears throat> for like the first week. But then after the first week and a half, that were terrible, I, became, I came here more comfortable because I was not the unknown, wasn't the unknown anymore. I mean, like, you're full of classes now. I wasn't like the standard.
find out check or, and if I am, I don't care. But it was just kind of like, I haven't gone to school for a lot of years, and so to walk back in these doors and not know what I was going to get into, and I mean, I got my butt handed to me a little bit, but not as bad as I thought it would be, so, and it was good, it's good for me to get out, it really is. And then basic computer skills. I thought I had this basic computer skills down, because I could get around my computer at home, but until I got into the class, my, that's when I realized my com com computer skills are just outdated, like, majorly. I mean, there's no, like, MS-DOS or anything like that anymore, back in the day, like, how I learned it. So, I took a couple classes, and I, um, to update my computer skills to now the modern version, I still have a little bit to work on, well, a whole lot to work on, but I got the basics down, and I'm going to keep learning and practicing, um, whether it's YouTube, online, trial and error, I mean, I got that down now, so I can, and there's like free online learning stuff, too, for dummies, so, if I don't know it, I'll just Google around, um, and then, staying focused is a major struggle for me. Um, it's the biggest struggle. Um, I have a short attention span, along with some other medical issues. Um, and it's called like the extremely overactive thyroid, Graves disease. Um, I can literally kill you if my numbers are so high. It's the specialist just got had a heart attack. She was just like, oh, I'm surprised you're not in ICU. You know, I'm just like, what? So, you know, getting that under control. I'm just waiting until this school's all over. And then during the summer, I do that, get it taken care of. So it'll fall, I can get in here and rock and roll. And hopefully I have a lot more focus. Um, and that'll help with my anxiety, too. Um, you know, and... And there may, may be other issues, you know, that affected me this quarter, but we're getting through it. We always will. Um, three skills I have learned and how I can keep practicing them beyond this classroom. Um, they're note-taking and styles. I really like that because um, it showed me the different kinds of note-taking styles. I guess maybe it would be the outline style, but in some cases it would be the cue. It just depends what my study would be. Um, and mind mapping, that that just bumfounds me because I lose track just walking down a straight line, you know, unless mind mapping here, there, and everywhere. So I don't think I like can use that one anytime soon, maybe in the fall. Um, but I can use my note-taking skills next quarter and in daily notes, logs, routines, plans, things like that, um, and as well as journals, which I've started. And then there's school resources, and I can keep using those as long as I attend school. And there may be possibilities out there for me to guide others because I didn't know anything. I mean, I've never even been in the library or in this building until I got here. So maybe, maybe you know, sometime I'll be able to help others, you know, find the resources that they need. And so I'll be doing kind of some service work. Um, basic computer skills again. I've now updated my skills, and I'll be using my laptop now, and I can sit and improve my skills for the fall quarter just by doodling around and, you know, trial and error and keeping it going so I don't forget what I've already learned. This is pretty easy for me to do since I don't have that much focus. But, and that's about it. I don't really have any mementos because of everything that life has thrown at me. It's made me very strong, so I just like since the beginning, and we did that, like, uh, what motivates you. So I just pulled out that little motivated picture here. Because this is little Bob. I take it here, carry him now. I'm helping his wife. His 
he's got Alzheimer's and all sorts of other shit. And he did things. Sometimes I'm Nurse Gina and sometimes I'm Diane, so I just got to roll with it because he won't listen to his wife. Um, of course, my dog and my cat. And here's my one son, Sean. He passed away. And there's my boy, Devin, now. And we're just taking day by day with Devin. And they're really, if it wasn't for my boys, who knows where it is today? And, you know. And I'm always the enabler. So now all my pets are co-dependent. Down to my chickens and my rooster. They're like the biggest one that you ever saw. So I think I've corrupted them a little bit. But all in all, I'm going like, did pretty good not being in school so long and got my drive going most of the time. I mean, lately it's kind of been shot, but that's going to happen. Life just goes to the fall. And that's all I've got. All right. <laughs> so, questions, comments, and thoughts from there? Yeah. I'm just curious, you talked about the high anxiety. Um, have you thought about, or have you gone to the access services? Um, no. I went to my specialist, and it's because of my overactive thyroid, and I'm just like, ding, 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 all over the place, and she says when I get that fixed, it'll help, like, so many issues I have going on, and so she asked me on medicine now, so when I go back to the doctor on the 26th, we're going to compare my numbers, and then I will have surgery done, and be rocking it out in the home. Yeah. When do you expect to get your degree? Probably not for two and a half years because I had to get a lot of general studies down. This school so different now that when I took my acupuncture, I guessed on my math would start out with a crazy math with parentheses and little numbers above the top and all that jazz. Guess my way to pre-calculus. So I'm starting from 90A, which I'm Friday, I'll be done with that. And so I gotta work my way up in my English really needs help because I guess. I didn't understand the question, so obviously I need some help on getting the right answers down that the question is going to be So I kind of bomb that. So it'll be a little bit, but it's probably about two and a half years. And then I'll see if I want to go to my bachelor's. Because I can really help some women that are domestic violence. I lived it for 14 years. I mean, I got hurt so bad. So bad. I didn't even know like myself many times. Fortunately, I never saw it the end. So I just... I know what it's like, I walked in those shoes and, you know, it's scary, it's scary. So anybody who just, you know, ask why you stay until you know what's going on behind those four walls, just keep your mouth shut, you don't even know. It's not, not good at all. So there's got to be somebody out there I can help. It's not just, I know it'll hopefully be more than one person, but even if it is, I know what it takes to get out of it and how scary it is. So I just hope. With my focus that I have, that I want in a major, and it was handed in hand with a chemical emergency, which that's just how it usually works. When it's one of those, it's always had in there somewhere, so I can do some good and do community service. Carl, you thought about um, volunteering with some of the local groups? Yeah, but right now I just have to focus on school, because I school too much out there. And I, and when I like, thank God for Pompadour, I fine tuned it, but I'm like, kind of hit the wall. It's just, if I could go in on one thing, like, with